pets, just as we are, risk for the development of cancer because of things that are in our environment. Pets get cancer-causing DNA mutations through exposure to things like tobacco smoke, chemicals such as lawn herbicides, and the sun's ultraviolet light. In some instances, our pets have even a more intimate relationship to the environment. If we're using herbicides on our lawn and our pets are walking across those lawns, they're coming in direct physical contact with that herbicide. Even some viruses, like the feline leukemia virus, can infect cells and cause DNA mutations that may result in cancer. The transformation of a normal cell into a cancer cell usually requires several mutations in a pet's DNA. These mutations typically accumulate over a long period of time and can come from a pet's exposure to a variety of environmental factors. This transformation may take years to develop, explaining why a pet's risk for cancer increases with age. We definitely recognize that certain breeds of dogs are more likely to get certain types of cancer. The reason for cancer in pets is complex. It involves many factors, including a pet's genetics, as well as their immune system. Normally, when a cancerous cell forms, white blood cells often destroy the defective cell before it can form a tumor. Some breeds are predisposed to cancer because they inherit problems with their immune systems and they cannot recognize and destroy cancer cells. The body has other ways to help prevent cancer. Proteins inside the cell's nucleus constantly monitor the DNA, looking for mutations. If a mutation is found, it is removed and replaced. This repair system helps to prevent cancerous mutations from accumulating within the DNA. Some breeds inherit problems with these repair mechanisms, increasing their chance of developing cancer. So I think being thoughtful about what is in our environment, some things we can control, some things we can't. I didn't realize that thyroid cancer was so prevalent, especially in labs. While research continues to help us learn more about the risk factors for cancer, in reality, we don't know why most pets develop cancer. However, becoming familiar with environmental risks and breed susceptibilities can help you protect your pet. When possible, reduce your pet's exposure to environmental risk factors and ask your veterinarian to run routine screening tests that will increase the likelihood of early cancer detection.